Hi traders, this is Chris. Admiral Markets video here regarding the euro dollar aiming at 120 in my view and the dollar yen in a bearish trend. I think the target and bouncing spot could be 110. Before we dive into that though and take a look at the charts, first of all, be aware of this special coming up early. Take a look at this offer here. Christmas comes early with Admiral Markets. And second of all, also very important, of course, the risk disclaimer. Trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered high risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this webinar, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. Also, please visit AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com, select your country of residence and contact the appropriate entity to find out if this video is suitable for you. All right, let's kick off with the euro dollar daily chart. My view on the euro dollar, obviously bullish, bullish momentum and have been bullish ever since price has been breaking above this resistance and this resistance uh, as a continuation of this upside. But now, slowly but surely, we are getting into a very hefty resistance zone on the left. We have these tops to deal with and around 120 psychological round level. So plus the weekly pivot points, this, these are weekly uh, pivot points from Admiral Markets Supreme Edition plugin. So that's one of the 660 extra features that uh, Admiral Markets offers through MT4 Supreme Edition. And uh, basically I think that price, once it gets to 120, 120, 25, max 120, 75, that those could be bouncing spots for a bearish correction in, in my view in ABC pattern, all right? So that's what I expect. Uh, I think there could be some upside towards those levels first in intraday trading, but from a bigger perspective time frame, I think that there's a good chance of a bounce, as I said, in a three-way fashion here or, or pattern back to support. I would put a fib from this bottom to the top, wherever it stops. And I think that price could stop at the typically at any of these deeper fibs, 50, 61.8, fibs uh, are typical for that. And it depends, of course, where exactly price turns. I would be looking for bearish candlestick patterns in this resistance zone myself. And uh, that would, from my point of view, uh, be the uh, kind of confirmation I'm looking for for this ABC, the start of this ABC, basically. On lower time frames, I think that this could be a wave five on the four hour chart, as I said already, that this is the last push. And on a lower time frame, this could also be the wave five. This could be a wave one, two, three, four, five. So uh, basically I had a fib from here to here. Didn't expect a deep retracement, 38, 50 fib. It indeed went to the 38 and price is already bouncing higher. So expecting price basically just to continue a little bit. What could happen is that th there could be an extension of this sideways zone like this doesn't have to happen right now. If it does, you know, there could be divergence between these tops. There might be multiple divergence before price really turns around. It could hit the R1, make a new bull flag and still continue. Those reversals sometimes are slow, difficult to catch and, uh, you know, not that easy to, to pin, pin down. But uh, I think that if price goes sideways like this, a breakout is interesting. If price makes a new bull flag here, one more break is possible. But all in all, either this breakout here, if it extends further is interesting, or in my view, looking for a bounce up in here on the daily chart, that is, all right? So that's about it. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Let me get rid of this fib. You can see a pretty strong candle. So for the moment, definitely good momentum. It's just that when price gets in, in here, uh, also you can see the Admiral Keltner, for instance, there's just a lot of resistance. That's the euro dollar. We'll take a look at the cable and dollar yen in just a second. But first of all, quick heads up of the webinars this week. Nanet, of course, on Monday and Wednesday. I myself on Tuesday and Wednesday, taking a look not only at the euro dollar and majors, but a whole range of uh, instruments, in fact, from commodities to CFDs to Forex. Uh, and of course, Thursday, we have a new webinar again, educational webinar coming up. Now, with regard to the pound dollar, basically we see the price is trying to break above our resistance here. You can see resistance levels right here. The price is trying to break above it slowly but surely. Uh, it is a little bit of a tricky breakout because the range is A, so big, and B, yeah, even if it breaks, there's still resistance pretty close above it. So it's, it's not an easy uh, structure at this moment. 
uh, and I think it's still unclear whether price will break. On the four-hour chart, we do see a pretty good four-hour candle, which could, um, you know, be a good continuation signal of this channel to the upside, like this. As you can see, pretty good bullish channel so far. I think that the upside is not bad if later this week price does break above 133.50 and then starts to make some kind of bull flag on the lower time frames, like an hourly chart, four-hour chart, that it could be set up for continuation. But for me. The bull flag pattern here, after it breaks, uh, is important. So it is trying to break right now. What I just need to see is a little bit of little bit of continuation and then a sideways move. That sideways move is important because that shows that this is not a false breakout. False breakouts occur typically when there's a huge range like this. Specifically, a very good example now with the pound. That's why I'm on my guard for, for false breaks, fake outs. And a pattern, if price goes sideways like this, makes a fake out less likely. So what I want to see is a triangle, it's a bull flag, and then a break of that. Once price breaks above this triangle or flag, the chance of a fake out is, uh, in my experience, substantially reduced. So that's what I'm looking for. Alternatively, if there is a fake out, price hits R1, falls very quickly like this, there's a big wick on the daily candle, candlestick, and then price starts to break below this channel, yes, there could be a breakout below the weekly pivot point down to the S1, from the S1 down to the S2, and then perhaps even extension below the support trend lines down to the bottom of the range and S3. So critical spot right here for the pound. Dollar yen looks bearish to me when considering this uh, bearish trend. I think that is not so strange, obviously. Good bearish channel here. And also, if you look at the daily chart, I think there's still some support remaining. I'm mean, sorry, uh, some space remaining until support. Price did bounce at the 55th, but if price uh, now trying to continue with this downtrend, then I think that the uh, bounce at the weekly pivot point uh, is uh, probably a bearish continuation signal for a move down to the 61.8 fib. So I think that a break below the 50 down to the 61.8 fib could be a bearish breakout. Here at the 61.8 fib, I think could be again. A bouncing spot and uh, if price were to break again below support then the next target is s3 and the 78.6 fib one of these two fibs though or three fibs 50 61 78.6 fib could be a bigger bouncing spot for the dollar yen and price might then retest resistance up at here and here um, so that's something to keep an eye on also of course price would need to break above this resistance trend line so these fibs could be bouncing spots and then breakout spots for an upside. For the moment though, as long as price stays below this trend line, I think that this breakout here, maybe even this breakout here, is a, a tad more likely. That's it for now. Take a look at admiralmarkets.com for more free material, analytics, uh, education, articles, but also of course the MT4 Supreme plugin. And of course you can check out the Christmas uh, uh, special that I just mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video and wish you all good trading. Cheers.